the commanders hope he will be better than fine. He uh, said yesterday he's not a star yet. He's got a long way to go, and that's the right attitude. Second overall pick. We've seen plenty of guys who were the second overall pick over the years not pan out. He's got to do it one day at a time, one moment at a time, build it one brick at a time. But it sure looks like he's got the potential yeah. to be pretty damn good for a team that hasn't had a really great quarterback in a long time. No, I, I mean, you know, agreed, right? I'm excited to see Jaden Daniels and what he can do in the NFL. I mean, first off, I saw this yesterday. What This guy is effortless throwing the ball. You know, again, I, I know his running gets a lot of hype and all of that. But damn, is he made to throw a football in the pocket. He is. And his mechanics are good. You're going to see from this, I saw a few clips yesterday. I mean, they're yelling out what, what hole to throw it into. And, I mean, he throws it, you know, no problem at all. But, you know, Mike, to, to your point and what, what he's doing, his skill set, one, is made for the current NFL. For sure, it's made for any NFL. It doesn't matter when it is. Guys that are big and can throw the ball over the field, that translates to any era. And then when you throw that on top of, yeah, he's smart, he can play, you know, play quarterback in the pocket and make the right reads that way. And then I, on top of that, like, go, go, gadget, I got three rockets up my ass and I can run away from people. Yeah, I'm excited to see what Jaden Daniels can do there. Definitely. They got one. And like we talked about during the draft process, almost any other year, he's the number one pick in the draft. Almost any other one. There's just a handful that he might not have been. Uh, but, you know, this year he got stuck behind Caleb Williams. But nonetheless, he ain't that far off. He's a damn special player. You know, it sets up another Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud possibility. Yeah, Maybe they right. both will be great. Right. But it does add a little extra something to Caleb Williams. Now, look, Peyton Manning thrived when he was one and Ryan Leaf was two. But there is something about being that second pick that can give you a little, a little kick. Right. A little chip on the shoulder. A little, a little something to prove. You know, we've learned that... Every great athlete is still looking for that external motivation. And the most obvious would be there was a quarterback that they perceived to be better than me. I have to go out and be as good as him, if not better. And I'm sure that C.J. Stroud thought about that once or twice last year when he wasn't the first overall pick. So, look, we'll find out what he does. It'll be fun to watch the Commanders this year. It'll be fun to watch Jaden Daniels because we know there's no guarantee that any of these guys, six of them taken in the top 12 picks, will be great quarterbacks or even good quarterbacks or even with their teams three years from now. Just look at 2021. Yeah, that's right. Do it. So, I mean, they haven't said he's the starter yet, right? But, but, and maybe I missed that, but I haven't heard that. But either way, this is one where I, I, I would almost guarantee it. I mean, guarantee it, right? He's ready, right? He's played in the SEC. He played in an offense that played pass first. He's used to doing that. You know, I the, here's one like him and Caleb Williams. I think are it's slam dunk. They're starting, and they're gonna go through a few bumps here and there, certainly. But I think these organizations and the kind of players they are, talent wise, and then the kind of people they are, yeah, they're gonna have the confidence to go. You know, let's start this era right now. The hell with the veteran guy playing a few weeks or whatever. Uh, this guy can handle it, and I, and I look at Jaden Daniels and Caleb Williams being able to handle that, and then some. Look. The other option is Marcus Mariota, and we've seen this movie before. I don't think you can trot out Marcus Mariota as your week one starter. I don't think I so don't, either. You just can't. No. You can't. No, not with the state of their up. franchise. We're not Game expecting man. them to win, right? You know, we're expecting the whole team to have to go through a few bumps. I mean, a ton of changing parts and all the free agents they brought in. It's a new GM. It's a new head coach. Yeah, there'll be energy there, and I know Dan Quinn will bring that for sure, and they'll be flying around on defense. But, yeah, this is the, the perfect scenario to go, hey – Let's grow together, everybody, and quarterback, here you go. Take the reins from game one, and that's what I would fully expect to happen. Courtney, thank you for refreshing our memory. Back in May, Jaden Daniels was asked about starting week one. He said, they told me whenever I'm ready, I'm ready. I think he's ready, and I think he <laughs> will be ready. If he's not ready now, he will be ready when September rolls around. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.